Welcome everyone. In order to hide apps on iPhone 14 Pro, this is not an easy solution, but it's the only one which works. So I want to hide the Google Drive app. So the first part is removing this app and hiding it from the home screen. You do this by long pressing on the app in question. You're gonna select remove app, and you're gonna see here, remove from home screen. On its own, this means the Google Drive app will not be on the home screen. However, I can still search up for Google Drive. And if I slide to the left until I'm brought to the app library, I should be able to find Google Drive somewhere here. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hide the app, uh, application question in search. Then finally, we're going to spoof this app so it looks like it's not Google Drive. Uh, instead, it looks like another app maybe Fortnite, Minecraft, etc. So let's hide the app from search. We do this by opening up the settings app. From here, you're gonna find where it says Siri and search. You're then gonna scroll all the way down and you want to find the application in question. So Google Drive. And you just want to turn off all of these toggles. Okay, just turn all of these off. Now, when I search up for the application, Google Drive, it's hidden from search, it's hidden from the home screen. However, right now, you could still technically find it in the app library here. So what we need to do is we need to completely spoof this application. In order to do that, you're gonna open up the App Store. If the App Store is restricted on your device, you can use another, you know, um, uh, Safari even. And so we just need an application icon for a different app, okay? So let's say I'm going to spoof Google Drive to make it look like, I don't know, Minecraft. If you are hiding the app, just think why you're hiding the app and just choose an app which, you know, if someone's monitoring your device, they wouldn't have concerns over it. So in my case, I'm gonna search up for Minecraft in the App Store. If you can't use the App Store, just search up Minecraft app icon on Safari. You're then gonna take a screenshot by clicking and releasing, power key and volume down key together, click release. Sorry, power volume up key, how embarrassing. You're gonna go into the screenshot here and you just want to crop the screenshot like so so you have the app icon. The white background, you don't need to worry about. Just make it look somewhat good, okay? Once that's done, we'll tap on done and save the photos. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to open up the Shortcuts app. From here, make sure you select Shortcuts. Then you're gonna tap on the plus you're gonna select add action. You're gonna search for open app. You're gonna tap on app, and then you're gonna search for the app you're trying to hide. So in my case, the Google Drive. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on the arrow here, and we're going to select choose icon. If you want, you can change the icon uh, in the shortcuts app itself. But the important part is changing the app icon for the home screen. So you're gonna tap on the share icon here, add to home screen. You're gonna change the home screen name to the app you're trying to spoof, let's say Minecraft. If you already have a Minecraft app on your home screen, this will just create a second one, so it won't remove the old one. Tap on the app icon here choose photo, and then choose the app icon you created, okay? And then tap on add. So now we have this Minecraft icon here. When I open it, it actually opens up Google Drive. But we can go even further because what if someone goes through the app library, they snoop around and you know, they're kind of techie and they figure out the Google Drive, okay? By default, it's kind of already hidden, 
but let, let's just let's not make any stone unturned so we're going to go back into into the shortcuts app you're then going to select automation you're going to tap on the plus create personal automation from here you're going to find where it says app and you're going to tap on choose and from here you just want to select the application uh, in question so in my case google drive however you can use this for multiple apps okay so if you're trying to hold multiple apps just make sure you use one shortcut for it we just select done and next so now we're going to tap on add action i'm going to search for ask and you're going to see ask for input tap on this you're going to change text to number and you're going to see ask for number with and then we're just going to say enter password to open we're not going to use the original app name we're going to use the spoofed app name okay once you do this step on done now we're going to search up for if if provided input condition is and then your pin so make sure this is something you only know so we'll just do you know five eight one three so if that's the case you're now going to open you're going to open the original app okay otherwise if the pin is incorrect you're going to open the spoofed app all right let's go like this and then search for, for minecraft if you have the original game or you can just search up uh, open up a different app so pause the video now if you want to create this and just use everything right here what this does is it asks for uh, input if you give the correct pin you open up these uh, uh the original app if you don't get the original pin you open up the spoofed app this right here is going to make it virtually impossible for someone to figure out what you have on your device you're going to see ask before running just turn this one off and then tap on done so now let's test so if i open up a google drive which i'm gonna to have to somehow find it here so i would assume it would be in the oh my goodness it's going to be tough to find this one but if i just find where google drive is located there we go you can see enter password if i enter in the wrong password boom you can see the application has been blocked out okay and if i open up the spoofed app boom same deal okay if i enter in the wrong password it's going to go somewhere else if i enter in the correct password it allows me access with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye